530, Governor Baker is insisting that the MBTA is safe, but not all riders are convinced. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez. I'm Paula Evan. Passengers were back on the red line today, a day after yesterday's derailment. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, the governor says commuters have nothing to worry about. The trains are back up and running after a derailment prompted the Broadway station to shut down, diverting passengers to shuttle buses Tuesday. I know we're already at some funding deficits, and I wonder how we're going to make structural improvements. Are the trains safe? Governor Charlie Baker. The system is safe. Again, the T is safe. I do believe the T is safe. Tripling down during a news conference a day after passengers shared images of people crawling out windows. Two days before this, an escalator at the back bay stop suddenly reversed backward, causing a bloody pileup. And earlier this month, a BU professor was killed when he fell through a rusty stairwell at the JFK UMass station. I think there have been eight derailments in the past 24 months. That's eight too many. When you get on the T, what's going on in your mind? Are you kind of wondering, well, how's my Is it going to derail? Um, is something else going to happen? Matt Lewis was on this train when the Orange Line derailed back in March. It just felt a, a, a loud screech, a loud stop. The T sent a statement. The MBTA's top priority is ensuring the safety and reliability of the system and continues to invest billions of dollars on major infrastructure projects. And the T is continuing to invest over a billion dollars a year in its core operating system, which against historic measures is an enormous number. Advocates say the governor has taken too long to appoint members to a new MBTA board. They say that leaves the agency without oversight and accountability. Today, the governor said he's been working on it. In South Boston, Christina Hager, WBC News.